Doctors believe that diseases were caused by bad smells, and that belief caused them to overlook the real reasons behind disease outbreaks. Sanitation was non-existent, so diseases were easily spread throughout cities. For example, sewage systems were yet to be set up, so people threw their waste onto the streets. This spread disease and bacteria throughout cities. Working conditions exposed workers to many dangers, such as cramped working areas with poor ventilation, trauma with machinery, and toxic exposures to heavy metals, dust, and solvents. Pollution from coal dust led to many miners having respiratory-related diseases, which led to shorter lifespans. In 1870, Louis Pasteur provided the connection between germ theory and disease, which made the understanding of disease skyrocket. This made many diseases such as malaria and yellow fever curable, as well as tuberculosis, which was discovered by Robert Koch to have a bacterium as its cause. Diseases like smallpox, typhoid, and cholera also were cured after these discoveries. The understanding of germs changed lifestyles as bathing and changing clothes became more common. Anesthesia, first used by William Morton, was used to put patients to sleep during procedures. This allowed doctors to conduct surgeries that were never possible before. Unfortunately, these procedures were performed without proper cleaning and patients who survived usually died later of infection. Other figures emerged like Florence Nightingale, who fought for sanitary equipment and hygiene in hospitals and began the very first nursing school. Other people such as Joseph Lister began working on antiseptics, realizing that they prevented infection.